In today's video, we are going to talk about COVID-19 and is it possible for cats to get it. Let's talk about first what are coronaviruses. Since the outset of the coronavirus pandemic, the potential role of animals in catching and spreading the disease has been closely examined by scientists. This is because the virus that causes COVID-19 belongs to the family of coronaviruses that cause disease in a variety of mammals. The evidence suggests that this virus arose in bats, and some people at the University of Glasgow have recently determined that the subtype of coronavirus, to which the virus belongs has been circulating in the bat population since the 140s. So it makes sense for researchers to ponder whether the virus can be transmitted to companion animals, whether these animals can show symptoms of infection, and whether they may play any role in the epidemiology of the disease. Coronaviruses are a group of viruses that can cause a range of symptoms, including a runny nose, cough, sore throat, and fever. Some are mild, such as the common cold, while others are more likely to lead to pneumonia. They're usually spread through direct contact with an infected person. The coronavirus gets its name from the crown-like spikes on its surface. The genus coronavirus is composed of at least three groups that cause mild to severe enteric, respiratory, or systemic disease. Other well-known coronaviruses are SARS and MERS. Cats are the UK's most popular pet. A 2019 survey revealed there are almost 11 million felines in households across the country. Public concern about felines was initially raised when tigers and lions at the Bronx Zoo in New York were found to be infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus which causes COVID-19. Coronaviruses can affect animals. Coronaviruses are common in several species of domestic and wild animals, including cattle, horses, dogs, cats, ferrets, camels, bats, and others. Cats can catch COVID-19 from other cats. Halfman said uninfected cats were also put into cages a foot away from the cages containing the infected cats. None of those felines became infected with the virus. Coronavirus can spread from animals to humans. Although not common, coronaviruses can be transmitted from animals to humans. Bats can be reservoir hosts for viruses which can cross species barriers to infect humans and other domestic and wild mammals. In the last two major coronavirus outbreaks that were transmitted to humans, transmission occurred through intermediate hosts, the masked palm civet, SARS, and dromedary camels, MERS. Health officials are working to identify the animal source of the 2019 novel coronavirus, now known officially as COVID-19 or coronavirus disease. Investigations are ongoing. The first infections were linked to a live animal market in China, but the virus is now spreading from person to person. If you want to be very cautious, don't let other people outside of your household handle your pets at this time, the exception being if your pet needs veterinary care. Since we have all been asked to stay six feet away from other people when out of our homes, this is achievable. Social distancing applies to the whole household, not just the human members. As a matter of everyday health, it is always a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after contact with pets to help avoid transmission of more common illness-causing agents, such as E. coli and salmonella. Your pet can contract the COVID-19 coronavirus. A very small number of animals have been reported to be infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 after close contact with people who had COVID-19. It's important to remember that viruses can sometimes infect a species but not cause illness in that species, nor become transmissible to others. If you want to be very cautious, don't let other people outside of your household handle your pets at this time, the exception being if your pet needs veterinary care. Since we have all been asked to stay six feet away from other people when out of our homes, social distancing applies to the whole household, not just the human members. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Coronavirus to cats. Cats can be infected with the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 and spread it to other cats, but dogs are not really susceptible to the infection, according to researchers in China. The team at Harbin Veterinary Research Institute in China also concludes that chickens, pigs, and ducks are not likely to catch the virus. Felines are susceptible to coronaviruses in general. Scientific data has shown that cats can be infected with SARS-CoV-2 and can spread it to other cats. However, as with canines, the infection does not necessarily equal illness, and scientists believe cats generally don't show signs of illness from this virus. Out of an abundance of caution, you may want to keep your cat inside away from other cats. If you are sick with COVID-19 symptoms, have someone else care for your cat, if possible, and wash your hands thoroughly before and after contact. Scientists say the findings are interesting, but that cat owner should not be alarmed just yet. 
The results are based on lab experiments in which a small number of animals were deliberately infected with high doses of the virus, SARS-CoV-2, and do not represent real-life interactions between people and their pets. Your pet needs veterinary care. If your pet needs veterinary care, please call your veterinarian or emergency clinic to find out how they are handling patient care at this time. Many are offering drive-up services or telemedicine options in order to limit physical contact between humans. Your cat is not required to wear a face mask in public. Mask made for pets may not be effective in preventing diseases transmitted by bodily fluid droplets. To protect your pet from respiratory diseases, vaccinate your pet for Bordetella, Parainfluenza, and Canine Influenza, which are the most common vaccine-preventable respiratory diseases in pets. Your veterinarian can help you determine which vaccines your pet should have, based on its risk factors. Currently, your pet can't receive coronavirus vaccination since there are no COVID-19 vaccines available for humans or animals. The World Health Organization estimates that a vaccine for humans could be available in 2021. Protecting yourself and your pet to COVID-19. If no one in your house has symptoms of COVID-19, you don't have to do anything different. You can go for walks with your pets, feed them, and play with them. If you have COVID-19 and your pet becomes sick, don't take your pet to the veterinarian yourself. Instead, contact the veterinarian. He or she might offer advice through a virtual visit or make another plan for treating your pet. Testing is only recommended for pets that have symptoms and have been exposed to a person with COVID-19. If your pet tests positive for the virus that causes COVID-19, follow the same precautions you would if a family member became infected. Aim to isolate your pet in a separate room away from the rest of your family and have your pet stay at home. Wear gloves when you interact with your pet or its food, dishes, waste, or bedding. Wash your hands after touching any of your pet's items. Don't put a face covering on your pet and don't wipe your pet with disinfectants, which can be harmful. If your pet develops new symptoms or seems to be getting worse, call the veterinarian. If your pet becomes ill, there's reason to be hopeful. Of the small number of dogs and cats confirmed to have the virus that causes COVID-19, some didn't show any signs of illness. The pets that did become ill only experienced mild symptoms and could be cared for at home. None of them died. It's fine to touch your pet's fur. The virus is more likely to survive and spread on countertops and doorknobs, while pet fur is thought to absorb and trap germs. Just remember that all animals can still carry other germs that can make you sick. So it's important to practice good hygiene with them. If you have questions or concerns about your pet's health and how it can be affected by COVID-19, the best way is to contact your veterinarian. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.